Today's marketing minute I have entitled When Google Calls. I got an email from a student that graduated a few years ago and the question that he had was a company that had approached him to offer top Google search results with increased reviews via an algorithm they have designed with Google. Okay, One of the things I'm seeing now in the practice that I consult in and, and overall is people soliciting dentists saying that they're with Google, partners with Google, did this with Google. Uh, trust me, this is all just nonsense. Okay, Google does not share anything with anybody. Okay, I don't think Google has a telephone in their entire organization. They don't they don't solicit anything. So when someone calls and says, I'm with Google or I'm doing something with Google, you can pretty much disqualify them. But anyway, what they what they uh, purported to do was that they would, if the patient rankings were four or five, it's posted to your profile. If it's three or four, then you can call the patient and they, they send it to you and then you can discuss why they had a bad experience. I, I can't think of anything that gives me more heartburn than to think of the concept of addressing uh, bad, pro, bad reviews on your profile. Okay, This goes back three years ago when I first started talking about your online reputation. Um, here are the three things that, that I've talked about. Number one, YouTube channel, optimized around your name. That's the lowest hanging fruit that's out there, okay? And I showed how to do that in class. Number two, PR web press releases. Drip a monthly press release about your practice, optimized around your name on a monthly basis. Number three, your name. Uh, the example that I gave was Thomas Larkin DDS, Dr. Thomas Larkin. Every derivation of your name registered as a domain and little mini websites, uh, you know, using Google or WordPlay. I like WordPress. WordPress is, is very Google friendly, so to speak. Um, mini templates, okay. The idea is to create enough contact that, content that you control to cover the first page of Google. And then, you know, you can just like dismiss all this craziness that's going to come your way. But believe me, this has gotten to be a cottage industry. One of the things that I've noticed, there are a tremendous number of SEO companies and people going out of business, okay? No one can crack Google's code. If anybody tells you they can get you to the top of Google, it can't happen, okay? Um, it's all about Google and playing their game and, and whether you do AdWords or whatever or the stuff that I do. But I'm going to tell you that no one, everyone has backed out, everyone to a person who has talked about getting you on the first page of Google has backed out because they couldn't deliver, okay? So that's kind of the state of SEO and ratings and all this stuff, but it goes back to my lecture where I said you need to proactively control the first name of Google. Oh, the other one that I mentioned, forgot to mention, was LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very SEO friendly. Uh, have your LinkedIn profile. That will be on the first page. Complete your profile on LinkedIn. Put all the glowing stuff there. You can get 10, the top 10 returns on Google about you that you control, and then you can just kind of tell these other people to, like, take a hike. So that's my marketing minute for today.